from the San Diego Polo Grounds. This is the Surf Cup 2012. Hello again, everybody. I'm Greg G.K. Porter for Landerman Productions. This is a boys under 12 match featuring the Patiadores, and they are in white and blue with the blue numbers and Colorado Storm Copa. They are in yellow with the blue numbers, and we're underway, so shift colors for all you sailors out there past and present. Let's get the lineups for both teams for the Patiadores. Head coach is Mario Gonzalez. Team manager is Raul Ortega. Number two is uh, Franjo Amaya. Number four is Owen Zaldivar. Number six is Robbie Graham. Five is Jackson Wedin. Seven is Nikolai Amuro. Brandon, right to on the last Going to be a free kick now with the Patiadores on the offsides call. The rest of the lineup reads this way. Number eight is Edward, Edward Flores. Number nine is Christian Delgadillo. Number 10 is Arnold Castillo. Number 11 is Brandon Ortega. Number 12 is Joshua Padilla. Number 13 is Nicholas Rodriguez. 14 is Brian Hernandez. 15 is Steve Montoya. 16 is Alejandro Mendoza. And that ball goes out of past the end line. It'll be a goal kick. Number 17 is Oscar Manjares. Number 19 is Francisco Pascual. And number 23 is Mayo Gonzalez for the Patiadores. And the lineup now for the Colorado Storm Copa. They are head coached by George Pavalantos and the team manager is Mike Porter. Number three is Xander Wint at center back. Number five is Peter McHugh at right back. Wing is John Lagenderfer. Number seven is Elijah Marinas. He's center back or backup keeper. Number eight is Kyle Porter. And he's striker. At defender or center mid is Samuel Halam. Number 10 at striker wing is Slater and Dolcek. Number 11 at striker wing is Andres Ocampo. Number 12 at left back is Chris Glass. Sean Roberts is number 14. And he's a keeper, and that shot was over the top of frame. And left back is Logan Hitzman. He's number 15. Number 17 at center mid is Joshua Pyle. And number 18 at center mid or wing is Cesar Martinez. And number 25 at wing or striker is Sean Malouf. You got a corner kick now coming up for the Patiadores in the central. Colorado Storm Copa able to drive it upfield. Still in their defensive half. Patiadores now in the central. To the near side, the Rodriguez. Rodriguez. He heel passes it. Nice. Running onto the soccer ball. We've seen this young man before, Owen Zaldifar, and he creates a foul in there in the central. Second free kick of the match, Zaldivar. His ability to weave his way and find space, create space for himself. We saw him on the South Bay Force a couple of years ago. Amaya, we've seen him too. He plays well. He was on that Patia Dores team against the South Bay Force that early on had the two fastest goals in Langevin Productions history. That was a Silver Leap game back in November of 2010. Free kick. This will be the third one. Taking it, Brian Hernandez. Castillo to the central. They have the touch, but taken away nicely by Langaderford. Sending it up forward. Gets his teammate Kyle Porter. Kyle 
Couldn't find anybody in the central. The striker now touches it out of the near side for Maloof. Maloof sends that ball forward on a nice through ball and coming off his line. They were off sides. Pat Theodore is now with their fourth free kick. Nikki! Nikki! Why not play this way down here? Dale. Padilla with a touch quickly by Rodriguez. Central. Maya. Franiola Maya still with a nice ball and places it backwards. Gonzalez, and now here's Zaldivar. Good first touch now, and he does that a lot. Finds his teammate in the central. Trying to go forward, but Stiffening up, nicely done by Colorado Storm Copa. Amaya. As they want to continue to probe, that ball is out of play on the near side. And it's nil-nil match. Still a clean sheet for both teams. Surf Cup 2012, Greg G.K. Porter, along with Bill Williams on a camera, bringing you the sights and sounds from up high. Zaldivar. Can't go any further. Nice stop there by Amaya. Sending it out wide on the diagonal pass. Played in some space for Castillo. Steele getting a return pass. Intercepted. Touched by Amaya. Zaldivar. Zaldivar in a attacking third down the box. Can't go any further. Nicely done by Colorado Storm Copa. And they are showing that they can stiffen up in their defensive third. Zaldivar. Goes to the central. He's got it to Castile. Taken away. Nicely done there in the central by Julio Martinez for Copa. They wanted to go toward the attacking third, but not able to do so. Winning it again is the white and blue. But intercepted. Back line doing a fine job for Colorado Storm. But now here is uh, Maya. He can play well with a soccer ball. With and without it. Find space to get open. Zaldivar. Pass intercepted. And he comes over and keeps that ball from going further. Patia Dores, the team who won their Southern California Developmental League and were semifinals in the State Cup in the U11. Down at left flank, trying to do something with the long ball, intercepting in the central. And also takes a shot and a save. So the save is made by Alex Galindo. Alexander, quicker. What do we talk about? Nothing on to get in under it and play behind him. Go drop your position, Alex. Pavon, Pavon, come on. Hernandez. Switch the attack to the wide side. Manjares, heavy ball by Colorado Storm after the throw in now to Zaldivar. Up forward, he's on sides. Amuro, they're able to get back. Hitsman over in the corner. Going to be a corner kick, or uh, I should say a throw in. Amuro, Zaldivar in the header. They try to get another strike. The central, I believe that was Padilla. Just couldn't quite get it. Zaldivar. Amaya. He's dangerous. In the box. They clear it out. Zaldivar is down on two knees. And hopefully he's going to be okay. 
Still the clean sheet here in the Surf Cup 2012. Hopefully you're enjoying the action so far. Greg G.K. Porter, or Langevin Productions, along with Bill Williams on the camera. And Owen Zalabar gets up. He's going to shake it off. And a drop ball is going to occur. Center rep. Possession back to the Colorado Storm. Copa. Martinez. 50-50. Caroms to the central. And then now it is sent down the right flank for Colorado Storm. Copa. Nice fake there by Brandon Ortega. Maya. Quick transition. They want to go out wide. And quickly coming off his line is keeper Sean Roberts. Substitutions are going to come in from the far side. And it's cloudy day, or morning, I should say. Here in the Polo Grounds in the city of Del Mar. Right across from the Del Mar racetrack. The freeway, the Interstate 5, up here in North County. We will mention any of the numbers that come in out on the pitch in a substitution as he touch that soccer ball. If we do not catch him immediately. Into the 18. 50-50, it goes out of play. So the goal kick now. For the yellow and blue, with a famous S-T-O-R-M in front of their jerseys. Midfield for Kyle Porter. Sends it out wide, trying to get Julio Martinez to get to it, but it had too much pace on it that time. Two saves now for Alex Gallindo. And only two shots for the Colorado Storm Copa. Match. Midway through, first half of action. Be a throw in for the Patti Adores. Orange County team. And when I say Orange County, I'm talking about in Southern California. Shot. Nice shot by Franiel Amaya. And we've seen him before. He was on that Pat Theodore's team, the Silver Elite team back in 2010. Nice shot there by Amaya. And Dalsek had a nice run, but now he gets support. Nicely done by Kyle Porter, the wide side. They get a touch now in the box, and a shot up in the air, trying to get another strike by Andres Ocampo, but that didn't happen. And Gallindo has his third save. Three shots and three saves. As Storm trying to get more shots. And as this half has moved on, they're starting to open up and get some more attack going. Castillo, let's pass out wide, and then now in the box, and it's saved. Nice, Sean Roberts. Sean getting his third save of the match. Down the central. As Andolsek was trying to make a move and got dispossessed. That last sequence. Down to central, a quick transition now for Pat Adores. A shot and a save by Roberts. Beautiful shot by Padilla, but Roberts was able to sprawl to his left and make the save. Zaldivar. As they get a counter going again in the defensive half. Amaya, Zaldivar. 
Looks for some space, finds it. To Castillo, the shot of the save by Robertson. That was an excellent blast. But Roberts now showing his ability to get up in the air and with his soft hands, bring it to himself. That was off of Martinez, but he stays in the match. Stays strong, and Drosek takes a shot, it's blocked! He takes another one, and it's blocked at the last moment! Slater and Dolsek, a bid, twice, to put it in the back of the net. But the defenders of the Patiadora is able to protect the near post. Gaiendo now with four saves, four shots now for Colorado Storm. And most of those have come after the first seven or eight minutes. Up high, a block, or batted away actually by uh, Alex. Zaldivar up forward. The Pat Theodores now want to make the quick transition, and they do with Padilla, sending it down the near side to Zaldivar, but he has speed. We've seen it many times, or I should say that one time, and already many times in this match. Down to the 18-yard box, and coming off his line is Gaendo to make the save, his fifth one. Cross midfield, Colorado Storm Copa sending it down to Slater. Slater on a soccer ball, protecting it to his teammate, sending it forward. He wanted Slater to follow it up, but he couldn't get to it. Owen Zaldivar. Padilla. There's Campo taking away. Back the other way for the Patia Torres. Padilla on the run, on a beautiful run, and he tried to take a shot and he fell down. Lost his balance that time. Amaya. Wide side. Matt Hodges. Trying to get another strike in the central of the box and just couldn't do it that time. As again, showing in his first half, Colorado Storm can play the good defense. The shot had just passed the second post. And he's still in probing, still got a good shot. Not quite accurate, and one of the players is down, as you see there. Pat Theodore is, and I believe that's uh, Nikolai Amuro. Center ref asking him, is he okay? And can he continue? But he is hobbling. And uh, Nikolai is going to be substituted out. Five shots so far in a match for the Pat Theodores. It looks like uh, Alejandro Mendoza will come in once uh, Amuro comes off. Got a GLP feature, the great sports moments of the Surf Cup, July 23rd, 2011. SJSC Lightning were tied 1-1 in a match in the San Diego Surf Cup. As McLaughlin getting a late equalizer after Nick LaMotta for the Lightning out of Hawaii had scored the first goal in that match. That is a GLP sports history moment. Throwing it in now is Nicholas Rodriguez for the Petiadores. Amaya driving it back. Hernandez, Zaldivar. In the central for Manjaris. Had too much pace on it for Zaldivar. And now the quick transition as they get the long ball. Well, Kyle Porter, Porter showing a speed. Porter sitting it past the second pose. Nice run by Kyle Porter. As a beautiful transition with a Colorado Storm Copa. And they now have six shots here in the first half. Colorado Storm Copa, they won the Thanksgiving Surf Cup Tournament, if you didn't know. 
They were finalists in the Jefferson Cup, and they were also finalists in the Pikes Peak uh, tournament where they played up as they were U11s and they played up in the U12. And a whistle and a free kick for the Colorado Storm Copa. Let's see what head coach George Pavalantos, the squad, can do here. Slater and Dulcic. He of the colorful hair. I'm like a Mohawk style. Want to try to help his team here get a 1 0 lead. Kyle Porter, the fake. And Dolcek up high, and then post, and it goes just wide. Not a bad ball that time by Slater. And another shot, making it a total of seven now for Colorado Storm Copa. Steve Montoya coming in for the Petiadores, along with Robbie Graham. And a substitution for the Colorado Storm as well. On the near side, Zaldivar could not keep it in. Sean Maloof is into the match now for the Colorado Storm Copa. Peter McHugh, the near side. Because they want to get the touches. The yellow and blue. Intercept it in the space. 50-50. Down to Central. Nice trap. Nicely done by Kyle Porter, sending it out wide to Maloof. The Central. And Dulcet couldn't get it. Now here's Porter trying to get another strike. Goes wide. And coming off his line is Galindo. Galindo, the 6 eight. Nice job into space. Colorado Storm Copa. Samuel Halam. Beautiful play. And Halam now will throw it in. Free kick. Fifth free kick of the match. Near side, Rodriguez. In the central, Maya. Taken away. Montoya, near side. Ortega, sending it forward. Zaldivar chasing it down. Shows his speed, it takes it away. Tries to continue on forward, but could not. Coming up in the space, there was Ortega. Storm still have it. Ocampo, central. Androsic. Androsic. He's helping out back there. Showing he can play well on both sides of the ball. Ocampo. Lost it. Zaldivar on it now. Near side hustling is Maloof. Winning it. Sean wants to go forward, but he was run off the soccer ball. Tries to pursue it, couldn't do it. Rodriguez hustling. Stole it, sent it down the near side. It's out of play. Zaldivar watched it go out, so his team could throw it in. And it's nil-nil match. A clean sheet as we arrive real, real close to halftime. Center ref soon will be looking at his watch. Colorado Storm Copa driving it out of their penalty area quickly. Rodriguez near side for Amaya dispossessed. Oh, 
They got the high line, the Patriotores on a near set. Rodriguez showing his agility. And out of play on a near side. Rodriguez, only one with the uh, shades on out there. And that is the end of the first half. With a clean sheet, nil-nil, for both the Panteadores and the Colorado Storm Copa. We hope you enjoyed all the action in the first 25 minutes. We'll be back with the second 25 minutes in just a moment. So stick with us. Action set to get underway here in the second half between the Patiadores and the Colorado Storm Copa. 25 minute halves. And we are underway. So shift colors for you sailors out there, past and present. Colorado Storm Copa is going from right to left, and the Patiadores is going from left to right. For the Patiadores, Alex Gallendo had six saves in the first half. The Patiadores had three fouls. They had uh, five free kicks. They had five shots and one corner kick. For the Colorado Storm Copa, Sean Roberts had five saves, one foul for the team. They had two free kicks, seven shots, and no corner kicks. Not much of a breeze in the first half, but it is going to start a little bit more here in the second half and as the morning moves on. Here in the first full weekend in August. Pat Diodores. On a soccer ball now. Mendoza. Mendoza goes down and center up says play on. On the near side, that ball goes out of play. Throw in by Mayo Gonzalez. In the 18 yard box, a great chance. But Roberts able to get to the soccer ball. In his space. Patti Adora is sending that ball forward. Running onto it there is a Hitzman. Providing resistance along with Halam. Halam playing real well in that first half. On the near side with it, Mendoza. Mendoza, did he go down in the box? He went down outside of the box. It's got to be a free kick. Yellow card issued. 
Si le vas a tirar, pídele, pero aquí para un frame, ¿eh? Pide las 10, ¿eh? Padilla. Ooh, right to the keep it, keep it. Intercepted. Tries to run onto it again and cannot. As a Colorado Storm Copa driving that ball out of play on an ear, son. Alex, Alex. You got it back up, Alex. Tírale, uh, Montoya. Tiempo, tiempo, Alex. Padilla. Blast on an air side and a save by Sean Roberts. And Sean getting his sixth save. Uh, the match. That shot taken in the 28th minute. 25 minute halves, 50 minute game. Here in the Surf Cup 2012, under cloudy skies here in North County, Del Mar. On a move quickly, Kyle Porter. Porter inside the box, a service turns out to be just behind the near post. Thought he might be trying to go to Andolsic, but that wasn't the case. It turned out to be a shot. Trying to keep the keeper, Alex Gaindo, on us. Colorado Storm Copa now with their sixth shot of the match. Q trying to get to it, and he does finally and clears it. Nice hustle by Peter McHugh. He throws it in. 50-50 ball. Rhines Landifer. Or Langendurfer, I should say. Logan Hitzman. Trying to get the return pass. And Logan has it. Now on the foot of Kyle Porter. And Dolcic Slater, nice move. The nutmeg into the box now. Slater still on it. His service trying to get a shot. And they do. Tough play. And just couldn't get the shot that he wanted. And there's going to be a foul here in the space. And a warning for Chris Glass. That last shot in the six yard box was by Kyle Porter, and I thought it was. Just wanted to confirm that. A tough play. And he got a shot off anyway. And that was the eighth one for the Colorado Storm Copa in this match. Alex Gallando now with seven saves. Into the 18. Intercepted. Can't go further. As uh, Mendoza. And almost an opportunity for a penalty shot. Not called by the center ref. They have all the judgment out there on the pitch. Sometimes agreed with the sideline, sometimes not. To the far side. You see Chris Glass leaving. Off the bounce, you gotta go straight to the ball. No foul, good. Dale inside, inside. And Dolce. Right, eh? And struck out a play by Samuel Halam. The near side. Mendoza, his pass intercepted in the central. Sent right back into the 18. And the save by Roberts. 
Nicholas Rodriguez sending that ball forward. And Nicholas, he has to wear those shades. Reasons, protect his eyes. The throw in. Colorado Storm Copa. And it's nil nil. Boys under 12. Pool play match of the Surf Cup 2012. Hope you've been enjoying all the action. As we are now in the 33rd minute of the match. Here's Andolsic. Slater turns out to be a service on the wide side. Rolanda Durfer. John. Now here's Peter McHugh. Sending the ball forward, but uh, it's just wide of his teammate. And so the throw in for the Patia Torres. Southern California. Rodriguez throwing it in. Mendoza dropping it back. He gets a return pass on the near side. Good first touch that time by uh, Mayo Gonzalez. To Alejandro Mendoza, and Mendoza is possessed. Back the other way. Joshua Pyle, and he goes down, and it'll be a free kick. Down the right flank. Rodriguez. Bring it upfield. <laughs> Marinas. Back to the keeper. Sean Roberts. Hitsman. Logan. And Dulce. Samuel Halam. To Porter. Kyle. In the central, here's Halam, but he lost his balance that time and gave it away. In a deep back. As Patty Doris tried to stretch out the field that time. Wide side. Nice controlling the soccer ball by Nicholas Rodriguez. In her deep back, Patti Dores sending it wide and out of play. That was off of Colorado Storm Copa. Now coming in, number seven, Nikolai Amuro, and number 17, Oscar Manjares. The throw in. Nicholas Rodriguez, the throw it in. In a clean sheet here in the second half. 36th minute of the match. Steve Montoya doing some work in the central, and now he gets a return pass. Montoya trying to go out wide, and he, in that work, draws a foul. Seventh free kick now for the Patiadores. Just miss wide of the far post. 
And it's shot by Steve Montoya. Substitution on the near side. Looks like Owen Zaldivar is going to come back into the match. A dangerous player for the Patiadores. As Robbie Graham comes up. And Robbie, we got an opportunity to see him playing in the opposite team that Zaldivar played on. Zaldivar played on that South Bay Force team. And the Patiadores was the one that Robbie was on. Here's a shot. Uh, just missed the far post. Swell Padilla on the shot. Brian, look around you, Nicky. Look around you. Read it. Read it. Read it, guys. Read it. Eight shots now. Petit Dores. And Dulce. Nice play in the space. But again, they keep him from going forward. Beautiful by Zaldivar. Really plays well on both sides of the ball. Number four for the Patiadores. Ocampo. Sending it out wide for McHugh on a beautiful run. The left flank. And in there, 18, and it's cleared. Nicely done by Jackson Wedding. Gonna be a throw in. He sent from long distance. I believe that was Ocampo. Long distance blast. Saved by Galindo. Total of eight saves by Alex. Nine shots. And that one hits our cameraman. Oh, at least his gear protecting him. Hopefully everything will be all right with the equipment. We want you to have the good video. Coming in now, Arnold Castillo from the near side to Pat Theodores. Mayo Gonzalez to throw in. Zaldivar weaving his way. He loves to do that. Arnold Castillo. Zaldivar wants to go forward. They know they have to pretty much double team him. And they have a hard time doing it. Here's Zaldivar hey, trying to get another way. strike, and it is possessive. Nolsik sending it up forward, but it was intercepted. And now here is Amaya. Amaya now accelerating. He's got his teammate and a pass at a central. Good passing that time, but intercepted. Alexander drops. Strong, Alex. That was Oscar Manjares on the near side. Oscar chasing it down again. Still kept in. But again, the Colorado Storm Copa showing their defensive abilities in this soccer match at a Surf Cup 2012. Here's Samuel Halam sending it out wide. To Hitchman. Intercepted Rodriguez. Trying to go forward there was uh, Castillo, and he fell down. Center ref, a lot of the play on. Hey. 41st minute of the match. And now it's a free kick. The Patiadores. The eighth free kick. Hey! Play, play, Brian. Six fouls now, Colorado Storm Copa. Alex, drop inside. Come on, come on. Copa. Hitsman, or actually, that's uh, Joshua Pyle. Sending it up forward out wide. Maloof, Sean Maloof having troubles, and it's going to be Nikki. a free kick. You don't need a foul there. You got him turned around. 
Fifth free kick. Colorado Storm Copa. Knocked out and then throw in now. Rodriguez will throw it in. Forty-third minute of the match. Remember, they only play fifty minutes in this pool play match. Here's a six free kick for the Colorado Storm Copa. Out of their own defensive half. Let's see what they can do. Up forward to Andolsic, but he couldn't get it, Slater. In the central, Zaldivar. Castillo. Back to Zaldivar, but a heavy touch that time. Gave it away. Near side for Manjares. Manjares. And. Staying with him, marking him nicely, it was Logan Hitzman. Nice job by Logan. Not allowing Manjares to continue on and turn on him. Seventh free kick now for Colorado Storm Copa. Alejandro Mendoza, service, intercepted. Nicely done. Pile. And Dolcic, Slater, sending it forward. Wants a teammate to run onto it. Maloof was trying to get to it, but he couldn't get to it. He had too much pace on it. So back for Galindo. Galindo sending that ball wide. The Rodriguez stops it and then tries to go forward. He's got dispossessed. Sending it forward in his boys under 12 match. Clean sheet. Forty-first minute of the match and a shot, and it's partially deflected that time. Nice shots now for the Patti Doris in the match. Goal kick, Colorado Storm Copa. Down to the last four minutes of the match. Let's see which team feels the urgency, wants to put one in the back of the net as we're still nil-nil. The clean sheet. Now in the box is Hepatia Torres trying to get another shot. And they cannot. As a storm being very tough in the top of their box. But here's a shot up in the other goal. They probed, they worked, and then they found somebody who was free in the space. And it was Arnold Castillo to put it in the back of the net. And it is 1-0. Just a few minutes left in this Surf Cup match 2012. Now the urgency is on a Colorado Storm Copa. Here's Ed Dolcic. Sitting it forward now, trying to get somebody to run onto it. On the near side, Halam, and you always see a different scenario once a team has been scored upon, and they know it's still a chance to tie it up. But Mendoza playing tough in the space on the near side. He's triple team. The ball goes away to the storm now. And almost a handball. It goes out of play, and they'll throw it in, though. Down one nil. On a beautiful shot by Arnold Castillo. But here is Zaldivar. He feels the urgency to add another one. Zaldivar still on the ball, shot, and just missed the white side. But another goal! Go, 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 Oh, and Zaldivar took it all the way to the six-yard box. He took the shot. And it goes over to Oscar Manjares, and he puts it in. 
from the far side. And it is 2 0. Beautiful run by Zaldifar, and Manjares had the presence of mind to follow him up and put it in the back of the net. Maybe two minutes left to go in his Surf Cup match. It took a while for the Pactiadores to get what they wanted in his match, but they finally have now. Bobby Graham comes into the match. But if the Colorado Storm Copa can find a way to put one in the back of the net here in the last couple minutes, maybe they may have a chance to put another one. This has been one of those close matches. And it has just opened up here in the last five minutes of the match. Outside the 18-yard box in a shot. And Gaindo not will not have a hard time with this one. And drives it forward. Man Harris. Amuro. Marines. This pass was intercepted. Graham. Zaldivar. To the near side. To Robbie Graham. Chronicle D was on that team, that Pat Theodore's team in 2010. Graham, Ooh, the 18-yard box, but beautiful play that time by Sean Maloof. Sent it up forward for Joshua Pyle. Down the right flank. Pursuing it. And that is the end of this pool play match in a boys under 12 between the Colorado Storm Copa and the Patiadores. We hope that you enjoyed all of this match here from the San Diego Polo Grounds, the Surf Cup 2012. Stick with us. There'll be interviews and closing comment from those who participated in this match today. G.K. Porter back here with the Colorado Storm Copa, and they are going to introduce themselves and say a little bit about this tournament, maybe some things they've done in the summer, and uh, talk about their aspirations on trying to win this tournament, even though they fell short in this one. Here they go. My name's Peter McHugh, and I like to play Xbox and go to the beach and swim. Thank you. All right, thank you, Peter. And uh, you can take the microphone and go ahead and... I'm Sam Hallam, and what I like to do out of soccer is play sports and play with my friends. Um, I like to play s some Xbox and video games. Hi, my name is Slater and Dalsik. I like to play football with my friends after school. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Josh, and I'm pretty much a gamer. I like to go on vacations and just chilling with my friends. My name is Andres Ocampo, and I like playing video soccer video games, and I like playing soccer and hanging out with my friends. I'm Sean Maloof. I'm a gamer. I love playing uh, video games and soccer's my life. I'm Sean Roberts and I love to be outside and skateboard and swim and do um, uh, sports. All right. I'm Xander Wendt and I play center defense and I like to play almost all types of sports. My name is Eli Marinas. I like to play outside, swim, and do other things with my friends like football. Hi, I'm Chris Glass, and I like to play Xbox. My favorite game is MW3, and um, <laughs> and uh, I like to play. I like to do swimming too. All right. <laughs> Hi, my name is Logan. Um, I like to play all sports, um, but obviously my favorite is soccer, and I like to play video games. 
Uh, hello, my name is uh, Cesaro Martinez, and um, I play Xbox. My favorite game is MW3, and I game all day. All right. <laughs> Hi, my name is John. I like to go to the pool and play basketball. Right. Hi, my name is Kyle, and I like playing basketball and going to the beach. All right, good job, guys. And you heard from the Colorado Storm Copa, and I'm sure they're going to have a, a great tournament. And guys, on three, do the Colorado Storm Copa uh, thing. On three, one, two, three. All right, excellent job. And the wrap up of the statistics in this match it was two to nothing, Pat Diodores. Nine shots for the Storm, 11 for the Pat Diodores. The Storm had five free kicks and no corner kicks. Sean Roberts had seven saves. Pat Diodores had eight free kicks, one corner kick, and nine saves by Alex Gallendo. We hope you enjoyed all of the action. I'm Greg G.K. Porter, along with Bill Williams behind the camera from the San Diego Polo Grounds here in the city of Del Mar, saying take care of yourself. God bless. And remember to save this one on the hard drive. Bye now.